So in today's video, um, <coughs> it's just down this path, um, it's an old caravan we have, it's not, not in use now. Um, I've never really been down here as such, because this is an old caravan, um, I never really needed to go down here as such either. I'll try and get past this uh, piece of wood. And we're through. At the back here, there is uh, r the remains of a long, uh, not a long, <laughs> I wished uh, it's remains of a, a wheelbarrow, so we're just going to get these out and uh, see what we can. It might be useful for, for, for something. So, but the looks of things, uh, I think the the tub on it has definitely seen better days, and really, I might as well go make a new one, um, because that's that's pretty much finished. Well, we can take it out and see if, if it needs any, if it's worth restoring. Not to not taking the rust off that, but just repainting it maybe and reusing it just for up, up in the yard use. We'll get this frame out and see what's, what's wrong with this. So, I'm just pulling the old frame out, it doesn't seem in too bad, Nick. It's not well, it is slightly a bit bent from one side, that's bent. Um, but uh, it's not too bad. The wheel obviously would need replacing. Um, well, the wheel's not too bad, it looks like it's seen a lot of use but uh it's not not for show anyway i'm gonna try and stick this tub on see if it the bolts line up so yeah that's the towel tub see it lines up with these two bolts that are well most of the rivets that are here um down here don't think there's anything else to line up um oh there's not see to be just just them two um uh, for the time being anyway Jesus, it's a funny sort of a find. I've never actually really been behind that caravan desk there. It's just never really be, been always busy at somewhere else. It's been just dumped here years ago. Um, there's no stamps or anything like that. Well, I could check for stamps. I'll just take this tub off again. Just, I was just seeing it. It does line up, so it is the one that's supposed to go on it. And you can see it needs... Yeah, if I, was, I wouldn't want to clean this down, I'd rather just make a new box for it, really. I'll make a new box for it. That's so, I brought down the wheelbarrow. Well, and uh, I'm just going to start work on the frame because that's going to be the first um, thing that I know it's going to be restored. And that uh, we'll see about the tray. Um, first of all, so I want to get this wheel off for a start. See, make sure it's all right. Um, because I so I'm after taking off some of the bolts, they came off pretty, pretty handy enough. Mostly just with a bit of spray day for you, not too much. Um, then I just using the vice grips, several size spanners because there's several size nuts on it. So I got this piece of it off. That's what props. That's affecting off handy enough. As you see, I was going to start cutting this off. It's a bit of a mark. I was going to start hacksawing this off, but I just sort of try it on my own. It came loose for me eventually. Um, also, a bit of a tip: if you ever need to get the bolt off, give it a bit of a tap. Don't mushroom it because obviously then you can't get it off anyways. But um, just give it a bit of small taps and a couple of a couple of belts of a hat, and you wouldn't believe what that shock would do to to a, to a rusted bolt. And eventually it might. Not saying it, it always ha always works. Different bolts um, do different things, but uh, I want to get these off so I can actually get the wheel out, and I'll uh, tell you a bit more about it now. So, I've got the wheel off. Looks at my, I think that's filled with concrete, and that's why it's, you can see it's showing through, and um, whatever belt was put on it. It's not bad though, I don't really mind it. It's, I'm gonna paint up that wheel and, and get it back on. Um, this piece can be painted as well, that's fine. I'll get them, I'll try and cut these out, and uh, so I can actually put uh, new bolts through them uh, when, uh, when I'm attaching either an old or a new tray. Um, so as you can see, this bearing is just a uh, joint that hooks onto the wheel. That's very, that's not too bad. It's a bit of a wear, obviously. Uh, it's, that's that's pretty normal. Um, but this one, as you can see, uh, they're parallel, the kind of opposites. And I think that's where it's just the, the wear evenly. Um, if that makes sense, it's a soft material that, um, that they use for the bearings, which is fair enough. Uh, that they, I'll clean up all these treads as well. So now when I put on the bolts, don't don't get stuck. 
that's perfect actually. Um, there's only one one stud actually holding this one on, and there was two uh, on that. So I'm going to replace this one, and I'll show you what I'm going to replace it. Ta-da! So there's the old tray. Uh, we'll see about that. I'll... But um, as you can see, I have another frame, but this one, as you can see, is um, I found it actually in a scrap pile. Uh, in the scrap pile, um, couldn't believe it. I was like, "Geez, is that another? <laughs> is that another wheelbarrow frame?" Um, okay, this one has better handles, but it obviously is broken, so I can't start. Um, I wouldn't start um, uh, using this, and the fact it's it's broken or whatever. But um, it does actually have a good bearing on this side. Mind about the, this that uh, screw. Put that in there. Um, this seems to be in good nick. And I might use this for the broken one. So we're just going to try and get this off. Get this that bolt off, and we'll get this out, and we'll, we'll use it. So yeah. So I've uh, got it off. Had to cut, cut the bolt off, but so be it. Um, one thing I will instead of this. Now we have this one. Now the looks of things, they look like two to be two of the same ones. It'll, it'll, it'll be alright, I think. Um, I'll put this bolt in here, take that one out. And this goes in here. That's one good thing about having spares. Um, will it fit or not? Oh, Look like, looks like these need to be just widened slightly bit with a drill. I'll widen them out and then uh, I'll get them fitting. So, a bit of an update on the wheelbarrow restoration. Just want to say this is my uh, this is the regular uh, wheelbarrow. Um, this has been around for we have this wheelbarrow 15 years. Um, I've seen a fair lot of use, but uh, we do mind it. Don't throw well, as long as you don't throw things into the, into barrels, you'll have them for life. And uh, the fact this was stainless or galvanized the the actual t uh, skip, it made a big difference. It's got a bit of strengthening in it as well, so that's good. Um, so this one, <laughs> a bit of a comparison. But this one, um, so I went ahead, um, painted the frame, put it back together now. Uh, I did run out of orange paint. Uh, I've I've more in a list, so when I can get it, I will get it, uh, and I'll end up sp spraying it again, the second coat of orange, and I'll really just weatherproof it. Um, so I put on the new bracket, um, this new bracket, this was actually off the other frame, um, and then also I've put on new bolts, this bolt's actually 13, uh, they're, they're usually 15s, but this one, uh, the 15 that was here rung, and uh, I had to put a 13, and uh, I managed to get, there's a, kind of like there's these wheel studs, uh, put on each bottom of the 14, they're just big bolts, and I had to put them on to the 13, then put a lot of spacers because the tread only goes to so far and I don't have any tread, tread um, tapping bars or, or anything so I put a lot of spacers in there so then I can tighten it up good uh, the far side I had to do the same <clears throat> I managed to get a, fo uh, a 14 a 14 um, so it's it's a 14 there and that's a 15 there's very little difference but I had to do it had to be done could be the far side we never, I think it might be the far side but uh, so that's the bracket. They're back together. Um, as you can see, this is straight, like that's that's flush. But this isn't. Um, just have to notice that now. I'll get a piece of bar here and then just kind of straighten it out. But now onto the skip. Now I'm going to make it out of a, a barrel, a, a tar barrel. I'm going to make skip out, of, and uh, there'll be more on that in the near future. Right now, she's going back in the shed. And uh, we're going to call it a night. It's, it's nearly evening now. Right. So guys, a bit of a time has passed since that last instalment. A couple of days actually. Um, I, so I wasn't working on this as such. I was doing other jobs. Um, I was cutting a lot of trees actually. There were the, our, a really couple of trees that needed to be pruned and all the rest. And the timber had to be drawn away. So 
a bit of time with that. But um, so I got back to it today, and now I can say it is finally finished. I know <laughs> it is looking rough. I might have another installment to this where I give it a bit more of a uh, paint, uh, but I think it's not too bad actually. Um, so as you can see, that's a barrel. Uh, I cut away an angle grinder straight down the middle, and uh, then I sized it up, said that was grand, and then drilled, drilled the holes. I put two new bolts in it actually, because the other ones were wrong. So, and then a couple of washers stopping the bolt from going through the frame. And then I put on this, this is the back, the bottom, this is the, it snapped off. So I re, I just drilled holes, and then I put in three zip ties. Then I put two wires as well. Um, it's good and strong. It's not coming off. Uh, I don't. I didn't put any handles on it. Um, I didn't really think there were. I I didn't have any. <laughs> Just to go honest truth, I didn't have a hand ready to uh, put on them uh, yet. Um, well, I might come up with something yet. But I've I just put a bit of tape over it because there used to be a bit of a hole here and you know it's it's pretty sharp so you could cut yourself from that. Um okay the frame the edge of the frame is very uh, sharp as you know it's an angle grinder so but it's not too bad. I obviously nobody's gonna be brushing their fa their hands off this. This is only gonna be used for grass cuttings, um a bit of sod work, nothing heavy, not, not heavy but because there's these ridges it is really strong. It's as strong as a, a, a regular barrel, really, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, <laughs> to the front, I know it's, it's a very simple design. It's just a, a half-cut barrel. Um, I was going to put a, an extension piece on this, like a kind of a curve, but I thought it ruined. It, I had a piece cut out, but I said no, oh, that would ruin the overall look and just the kind of bit of a com com comedian kind of. Our comical thing about it is so it's just a barrow, wheelbarrow chassis and it has a half cup barrel bolted onto it um, and uh, the red see, is not too bad and it looks well with the orange so I'm going to keep it that um, and now I'm going to do some work with it so yeah let's see it with a full load so we're just going to sh show I remember, remind ourselves how, how we actually first got this barrow it was abandoned at the back of a sh uh, shed all rusty. And now, to this, to that. So I'm very happy, happy with the way it has turned out. And uh, I, I know, just drop a bit of gra grass out of this. I don't mind because it helps when it tips. Because that just comes straight out. I'm going to show you now. So guys, that's the wheelbarrow unloading. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. And guys, I'm I'm getting a nice bit of support now. The channel's really grown. Um, we're at I think 43 subscribers since I last checked, and we're we're going pretty rapid. Um, comment down below if you want to see more of these videos, um, like these restoration videos putting things back to purpose really um, I always try and incorporate a lot of things into my channel I know I have farm models then machinery and then I have my lawn mowers and then I have these uh, which is uh, cool as well so yeah uh, to comment down below if you like this and uh, if you want to see anything like this but uh, again and uh, guys I'll see you in the next one bye for now